untap your full potential with the untapped deck tracker. Both the in-game overlay and the personal stats provide a lot of value. Download it for free today using the link below and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another standard games video. Today we're taking a look at a black green combo deck titled Titan Tutor as voted on by my supporters on Patreon and you can become a Patreon supporter yourself today for as little as $2 per month which works out to about 8 cents per video and that's one of the best ways to support the channel and is very much appreciated. And today's deck is built around a Demogoth Titan, the 4 mana 1110 demon from Strixhaven with the drawback that when the Titan attacks or blocks we have to sacrifice a creature but we're not really planning to attack or block with Demogoth Titan, instead we're gonna combo it with Tent of the Pests, the 2 mana instant, and as an additional cost to cast it we have to sacrifice a creature to create X11 black and green pest creature tokens, where X is the sacrificed creature's power. So Tent the Pests will generate 11 pest tokens if we sacrifice Demogoth Titan, and then the final piece of the combo is Ayara, first of Lochthwain, the 3 mana to 3 legendary elf noble, saying whenever Ayara or another black creature enters a battlefield under our control, each opponent loses one life and we gain one life, and we can also tap Ayara and sacrifice another black creature to draw a card. So if we have turn 3 Ayara into turn 4 Demogoth Titan, turn 5 Tend the Pest Sacrificing Titan, generate 11 pest tokens, and drain the opponent for 11, and on the following turn we should be able to close out the game by just attacking with a swarm of pest tokens. So that's the main game plan of the deck, and to help us assemble all these combo pieces we also have 4 copies of a Grim Tutor, the 3 mana Mythic Rare Sorcery, letting us search our library for any card at the cost of 3 life. Then taking a look at the rest of the deck, we do have some interaction with 4 copies of Blood Chief's Thirst as a cheap removal spell, full play set of Agonizing Remorse as Hand Disruption to make sure the opponent cannot mess up our game plan, maybe take away a removal spell for Demogoth Titan before we get a chance to tend the pests. Then we also have 2 copies of Heartless Act as more removal, then our 4 copies of Ten the Pests, which we won't need until later in the game, and then 4 copies of Maze Mind Tome, which can also scry or draw cards to help us find the different combo pieces, and eventually also Gains for Life, which can offset the life loss from cards like Agonizing Remorse and Grim Tutor. And then besides 4 copies of Grim Tutor, we've got Ayara, which is supported by a heavy black mana base, so we can usually cast her on turn 3. And then at 4 mana, besides our 4 copies of Demogoth Titan, we also have the full playset of Binding the Old Gods as a versatile removal spell that also ramps us on the second chapter, so it becomes easier to potentially play Demogoth Titan plus Tenthepest in the same turn if we suspect that the opponent is keeping up removal. And then finally 2 copies of Extinction Event as our Sweeper of Choice, can also search it up with our Grim Tutor if we need to reset the board. And then the mana base is heavily skewed towards black, since we only need green mana on turn 4 for binding and then turn 5 for tender pests. So we don't need a ton of green mana, so it all comes in the form of these black green dual lands. With 4 in Death at Trium, can also play the Zagoth Trium if you prefer. 4 copies of Temple of Malady, which also lets us cry 1 to help us assemble the combo. 4 of the black green pathway, not playing any snarls since they come into play tapped too often. And then 10 basic swamps, as well as 2 copies of Castle Lochtwain, which can also potentially draw more cards in the late game. So that's our deck, now let's jump in some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the play with a reasonable hand. Technically we have all the combo pieces, although it's going to take a while and quite a bit of life to assemble it. I'm going to play Trium before Temple, since we don't know for sure yet whether or not we want to keep additional lands on top. Alright, now that we drew a land we can safely scry lands to the bottom. And probably don't need a second Ayara, even though the first one could die here. Alright, since the opponent just camped up two mana here and they could have a Heartless Act, I'm more in favor of Grim Tutor than I am Ayara, so that if the opponent does have removal they don't get to spend their turn efficiently. And then get a Demogoth Titan as step one. And tend the pests as step two. Alright, Bastion of Remembrance. Is your opponent a sacrifice deck? Alright, do I play a Yara now? Or we could play Demogoth Titan. Either way, it's gonna take a few turns to set this all up. Although, I can Grim Tutor and tend the pests in the same turn at least. So if I play Titan next turn I could technically make 11 one ones. It's just that the opponent will have a chance to kill my Titan before I do so. 
Uh, so maybe this turn I play a Yara with 5 mana, I Grim Tutor for Tenderpests. And then on turn 6, once we have 6 mana, we can play Titan and Tenderpest in the same turn, which might be safest. And then if Ayara is still alive, great. If not, so be it. And I think I'll hang on to Thirst to maybe kill a more threatening creature. Second Bastion, alright. So we'll Grim Tutor for Tenderpests. And then probably just play defense. And hope the opponent doesn't kill Ayara. A dramatic finale, nice. Alright, that's gonna pump their tokens. I will block. Essentially take four here. Tokens don't trigger the finale. So that's good. And now I could main phase Tenderpests to make sure Ayara triggers. The only concern is a sweeper from the opponents dealing with our pests. So I think we just play Titan. And then... Do I attack with Ayara? Sure. And then pass a turn. And then... Hopefully we can just tend the pests here and then attack with our tokens. Night Twitch is fine. And a Voice Rider is fine too. Alright, so the opponents essentially tapped out. They can drain us for quite a bit of damage here with Double Bastion, but not enough to kill me. So even if we go down to 10, they can still drain me for a bit, but not enough to kill me in response to Tender Pests. Eleven Ayara triggers. Opponents at nine. Now they can still gain a bit of life with the Woe Strider here by uh, sacking their creatures. So that might be enough for them to survive. I guess we'll play Kicked Thirst on Strider first. Force them to make a play now. And then attack with all the pests. If I also attack with Ayara, three, then they could still survive. So probably just send the pests and then sacrifice one of the blocked pests. So your opponent's not actually dead yet, but pretty close. Down to three. And then I think I'd rather Remorse to check out their hand. Alright, so... Let's see, Sedgemore Witch can make a bunch of tokens, Pass Summoning can make some tokens. Although all the tokens will be 2-2, so they don't actually die to trigger Bastion. And we just need to sneak in three more points of damage. So Village Rites is probably the scariest, since that lets them sack a creature to trigger Bastion. Opponent doesn't have enough cards in Graveyard to escape Ghost Rider, so I think we take the Village Rites. And then we're not taking Lethal on the way back. And we just need to sneak in a little bit more damage here. So yeah, the Double Bastion kept him alive. Thirst kills a pest. So 
So your opponent would go to one here, fight tank with everyone. Binding can destroy a Bastion. So that's a pretty good draw. We'll just wait. The final chapter of Binding, giving our creatures Death Touch, is also going to be quite relevant. Skyclave Shade. So I don't think I want to sack a pest to a Yara just yet. Even though we could try to assemble the combo a second time. Back up a Yara can still drain the opponent for a little bit of extra damage. So do we have enough now? If I play a Yara, drain the opponent for two, they're at one. Then attack with everyone. Four, five, six, seven blockers, and we have eight attackers, so that should do it. Since we get two Ayara triggers here. So I don't even need to binding. So we have Exaxes. And all the past death triggers will happen after our opponent takes lethal damage. Alright, sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a reasonable hand. Plenty of interaction, Tome to help us find our missing combo pieces. Mainly Tantha Pests, but Ayara would be nice too. Well, there's Ayara, so... Just missing Tendipest. We'll get to Tome in play before we Remorse. Remorse probably a card we want to cast closer to the point where we start comboing. Opponent looks like a control deck. So this might be a matchup where we don't scry with Tome and instead try and draw as many cards as possible. Do I play Ayara? It's still mana efficient. If they kill Ayara, it's not the end of the world. And then next turn we can maybe play Remorse and draw with Tome. Opponent puts Creative Outburst in the Graveyard. So, a Jeskai Prismari type deck here. Forging the Tyrant Sword, interesting. Makes another treasure, so maybe they've got some treasure synergy here. I'm intrigued. Alright, probably kick things off with Remorse to have a look. Alright, double Goldspan Dragon, Prismari Command. Does this interact in any meaningful way? Well, it destroys my Maze Mine Tome, so that's kind of annoying. Yeah, I mean, double gold span is gonna hurt. But I think we take command and then just try and set up our combo as fast as possible. Forging Tarot Sword can get an equipment to put on the gold span, although we do have Thirst to answer one of them. So we take four. And they have six mana, second main essentially. Opponent runs out second gold span. And we get to draw. So extinction events would clear the entire board, and there's ten the pests. Alright, so next turn we get to combo if we're not dead yet. Although for opponent gets like an Ember Cleave here, we could be dead. So I guess I don't have to play Demogoth Titan now. I can just play Kicked Thirst. Kill one of the dragons. And then hope the other one doesn't kill me. And then we get to gain 11 or even 12 life here. And gets Ember Cleave, as we suspected. So that's a Goldspan Dragon that can hit us for 10, at the very least. 
So any additional pump spells are going to be scary. Hoof, double gold span. So they can attack with both ends, Ember Cleave. So now I'm not so sure that we're going to survive to kill them. So we take 14. Heartless Acts, I guess, is reasonable, but it's also not enough to save me here. If we Heartless Act the gold span, the other one still kills me. And we're so close to killing the opponent since we can hit them down to 13 and then essentially put them to 1. Yeah, had we maybe scryed one more time with the Tome, that would have made a difference. So I think we bought them and then maybe hope to draw Extinction Events. Drew another Heartless Act, so... Yeah, had we kept Heartless Act and then drawn with the Tome, we also would have been able to double Heartless Act the Dragons. Although I guess what we can do is, instead of attacking with Ayara, we can sacrifice a Pest token to gain one life with a Death Trigger, which would put us to 15, which is enough to survive at one life, and then we can hopefully attack back for lethal. Alright, I think we found our line. So play Titan, drain them for one, tend the Pests, and get to see the machine gun triggers. And yeah, we'll pass a turn with the intent of sacrificing a pest to draw a card and gain one life, more importantly. Forging Tarot Sword doesn't change that. So if their last card's not a burn spell or a pump spell, we're safe. In hindsight, taking Prismatic Command with Agonizing Remorse was a little greedy, since we didn't even end up using the Tome all that much. Well, we're at one. And our opponent concedes. Wow, what a close game here. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a fine opening hand. We've got all the combo pieces if we eventually cast Grim Tutor facing a Yurion deck, so it could be something more controlling. So it might be difficult to assemble the combo in that case. Alright, drawing the Demogoth Titan helps. We've got the green mana, although ideally we also have triple black here. Disciple, we'll discard Thirsts. And then we'll just play Ayara. And then turn 4 Titan, turn 5. If we draw land, we can Grim Tutor and Tend the Pest in the same turn. Field of Ruin gets my castle, that's fine. Don't have a basic forest, but plenty of basic swamps. Could also build a mana base with Fabled Passage and then one basic forest, but that didn't seem necessary. Alright, so play Titan and then next turn Grim Shooter plus Tendipests. They don't know that we're playing green yet. Might as well attack with Ayara. Although, I suppose it's also reasonable to keep her untapped in case they try and kill Titan so we can at least sacrifice it to draw a card. Alright, Rankle is unfortunate. So now we lose the Ayara part of the combo. But it's probably still worth it to tend the pest to make 11 tokens here. So Grim Tutor goes. And Ayara sadly has to go. Could also Grim Tutor for another Ayara, but we won't be able to play her. So yeah, let's just... Uh, Get our Tend the Pests. And then I don't have to cast it now. Maybe they try and kill our Titan and we can Tend the Response. Doom foretold, that's fine. Can wait for Rankle to maybe 
make us sacrifice a creature, although now with a Doom Foretold that seems unlikely. Each player discards a card. That works. Alright, so now we just need to dodge a Sweeper. Ayara, a little bit late to the party here. But we'll attack. Opponent takes 10. And now we can also use Ayara to sacrifice a creature that's about to get blocked, so we at least get some value. That's unfortunate. Shadow's Verdict wipes the board. And now Rankle is gonna give us some trouble. Yeah, our opponent's at 7, but it's gonna take us a long time to get the combo assembled again. And our opponent's gonna have a Yurion beating us down. Well, I guess that answers Yurion. So the game drags on. So yeah, we were very close to having the combo with Ayara. Which would have uh, killed him on the spot. Acquisitions Expert takes my binding, sadly. I guess it's only fair. So they might have more discard effects in hand, which is also going to make it difficult to keep combo pieces in hand. Although Mace Mind Tome is a nice draw, can draw end of turn to play around Sorcery Speed discard. So maybe we still have a chance here. End of turn draw. A Yara the draw and a Grim Tutor. Well, let's see what happens if we play Ayara. That's going to be a Soul Shatter in response. Now, I don't think I cast a Grim Tutor yet, since they might have another Acquisitions Expert or uh, another Elder Fang Disciple in hand, in which case I just lose three life for no reason. Although we could always use the Tome to draw in response. Alright, go blank, exiles my hand, and graveyard. But I can still draw with Tome end of turn. If they did let us untap, then we could have searched for one of our combo pieces and cast it in the same turn to avoid the discard conundrum. So our opponent's down to one card, and we do have a Maze Mind Tome, so... You know, we're not in terrible shape. Another Mace Mind Tome and an Extinction Event. Seems a bit drastic to Extinction Event for just Expert, but if they make us discard Extinction Event, then it's also not doing much for me. I think I still hold it so I can double Tome instead. I'll take one. Triple Tome, and Bloodsheaf's Thirst, which can answer the Expert. Alright, we've got the uh, Tomes on our side. Pun is not doing much. This is a stage of the game where they could draw discard effects that just aren't very effective, so that's one of the drawbacks of playing a discard-heavy deck.
Now we are drawing some removal spells, which will get clogged in our hand. Start by cycling Trium. Alright, Grim Shooter could get either combo piece, but again, I don't know which ones to get. Ayara can at least attack, so that's kind of the most logical one. Although I could also wait to get Agonizing Remorse to check for removal, so she doesn't die to another Soul Shatter. So I think the play is just going to be play land and pass, and then take a slower approach. Although of course could get punished by more discard effects. Professor Onyx is problematic. Although we do have Blood Chief's Thirst to potentially answer her, as well as Binding. So we can always Grim Shooter for an answer. And we see Blood on the Snow, the reason they're playing all those basic snow lands. Go blank. And response will draw. And we'll draw again. Alright, so Temple can definitely go and then probably ditch Extinction Event since at least Heartless Act can kill a hasty Rankle. Alright, so I'll probably have to Grim Shooter for, I'm guessing, a Binding to at least get an extra Forest out of the deal. But I could draw with Tome first. Alright, Tendapest, so we're very close to the combo now. Although I think I should still answer Professor Onyx before she gets too much out of hand. So let's get Binding. And then Scrying, not super useful when Binding's about to shuffle. Although I guess we draw before the second chapter, so it's still fine here. Alright, definitely put that on the bottom. Fracture kills Tome, not before we scry. And another Tome, that's the last one. So we'll get to draw that before shuffling it away with Binding. And get our last Triome. Alright, getting Castle in play is also quite valuable. So now we just need to find another Demogoth Titan. Pointer could be sitting on Shadow's Verdict. So Agonizing Remorse to check their hand would also be nice. So we'll draw with Castle first and then with Tome. There's Titan. So how about a nice Agonizing Remorse here? Thirsts. I mean, we can play Titan and keep up Tendapests, and then Tendapests end of turn plays around Shadow's Verdict, so it's not like we need Agonizing Remorse here. If they have Soul Shatter plus Verdict, then things get more complicated. Alright. Opponent passes, and of turn ten the pests. Then we can castle, then we can tomb. Although most likely they're just dead. So it is nice that we get to play around sorcery speed sweepers. And our opponent explodes, so yeah, the game ended up taking much longer than expected, but we got to see the power of Maze Mind Tome on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a reasonable hand. Double Temple to scry towards some of our pieces and then Grim Tutor to find the missing ones. Um, I think I'm already fine playing Temple here since we have all the lands we need. Maze Mind Tome when facing turn 1 Swamp is probably fine, this might be a grindier matchup. So the card draw is going to come in handy. Hunt for specimens, so this is the 
sacrifice deck. So we do have binding to answer some of their enchantments. So yeah, we're just looking for Demogoth Titan, Tendapest, and Ayara. Titan plus Tendapest by itself is probably not going to be enough, so the drain from Ayara is going to be pretty important. Tendapest is great. So yeah, I don't know yet if I want to play the tutor since I don't know which combo piece to get. But I can play Temple and draw with Tome. Another tome's probably not needed anymore. Can always heartless act if needed here, but probably gonna draw with tome. Sedgemore Witch is worth killing. Although I could also use binding. So we're taking a bit of chip damage. I think I'll draw with tome now. Another tutor. Alright, so we can get all the pieces. Question is, are we going to survive long enough to uh, get them all in play? I think at this rate the answer is no, so I should binding the witch. Which will also ramp us to make it easier to deploy all these grim tutors. Could see village rights in response. They should definitely wait for the war to resolve first. And they're just going to village rise the pests, that's fine. So we're at 13. Now Mace Mine Tome can also gain for at some point, which is going to be helpful. And we can always Grim Tutor for Extinction Event to wipe the board of all pests. Alright, opponent's just going to draw some cards, which does get rid of all their pressure, which we don't mind seeing, although they're going to get to draw a lot of cards. Night Witch. And Hunt for Specimens can learn... We'll see what they get, another pest summoning. So we'll scry. Thirst, probably not needed. And drew one anyway. So I can draw with Tome before casting Room Tutor in case we draw one of the missing pieces. Another Thirst. Alright, so we'll Grim Shooter for Ayara. The next turn I can play Ayara and Grim Shooter for Titan. Our opponent doesn't get to see what we searched up. Ooh, Rankle. Would have been nice to Heartless Sack that one. So now we're not going to have a lot of life to work with. Discard Thirst, maybe. Drew Temple. Lovestruck Beast Adventured. If I play Ayara, I go up to six. Not going to have the life to um, Grim Tutor right now since we need to answer Rankle, and then I probably answer another of their creatures with the Blood Chief's Thirsts. They might have another village, right? So be it. Let's kill... Don't really want to kill the Eye Twitch. I guess we'll kill the Pests. And Demogoth Titan's perfect, so we don't even have to Grim Tutor. Alright, so we've got Heartless Act for Rankle. 
hopefully that's enough. Don't want a heartless act now since it could have a second rankle, so want to wait for it to attack. Alright, in response to Bastion we probably kill Rankle. And then hopefully they don't go land into a second one. Plums are forbidden, I don't mind seeing. So we should be able to untap, play Titan and Tenderpests. Opponent gets Necrotic Fumes, but that's going to be too slow. They haven't gained any life, so Mortality Spear is not a concern. Which is why we killed the Pest Token earlier. Alright, so Titan... Triggers Ayara. And we'll pass with Tendapest up. Could get punished by instant speed removal on Ayara if they have Mortality Spear, but they might Necrotic Fumes. Our opponent may be considering another Plum. Alright, sacrifices Eye Twitch. Learns another Necrotic Fumes. And we get to trigger Ayara. And we'll sack a pass to draw a card, sure. Still have a Grim Shooter, we can cast for anything. So it's looking good. Pass summoning is not gonna save them. And yeah, can attack for the win. Even drew another Titan, so we could have assembled Tendapest Titan a second time here. Alright, sweet. So yeah, we got to see our Titan Shooter deck in action here. Not the most, you know, reliable win condition out there, since it is, at the end of the day, a three-card combo to have a more guaranteed kill, since by itself Tendapest Titan is usually not enough to get across the finish line by itself if the opponent has any blockers or interaction but Ayara is that missing piece that makes the deck function. So overall, not the most competitive standard deck, but definitely good for a fun time. So that's going to do it for today's gameplay. I want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.